And I didn't realize how far off track I was for so long. Do you feel like this character that you had to embody to play for that many years, it kind of molded into who you were? Like, were there moments when you were like, who is this? Well, I mean, that's, that's acting, right? I mean, mm-hmm. you're, you're embodying a part of yourself that is honest and true to that particular character. Mm-hmm. Um, and because the show, I mean, much like kids, it was filmed in a very docu-realistic style mm-hmm. to the point where the audience really felt like they were connected to those characters. Mm-hmm. So unlike, I don't know, Game of Thrones, where you're like in some yeah. right. garb and then you go out and you're in normal street clothes, so there's a, you know, a little separation. Right. This, it's like, oh, and by the way, I would steal all of Vince's clothes too because it's like, oh, it fits me and I'll just, you know, at the end of the season, I'd back up my car to the wardrobe trailer because they would just get rid of all of it and I'd just take oh all those God. clothes. <laughs> so I was becoming more and more the character and wearing the clothes on and off set and going to, and, and because it was a Hollywood lifestyle and I was living in Hollywood and it, they, the lines were very, very blurry. Wow. And people would come up to me and they would, f- it would feel like there's this familiarity. Mm-hmm. Vince, like, oh my God, like we watch you on Sundays. We're, and they'd, it'd feel like we're friends. Right. And I felt good and I'm a social person. So I'd be like, hey man, yeah, cool. And people would want to do shots and they'd want to go do, they'd want you to be the character. Of course. Because mm-hmm. it made them feel recognized mm-hmm. in their life. Mm-hmm. And so the more approval I got, so I'd be like, oh, I can accommodate, you know, and then it becomes easier and easier just to be that, that guy and live that life. Mm-hmm. And what's the character? I, I've never seen Entourage, but I have an idea of what I have been aware of. Was it about somebody like growing through Hollywood? So re, was there that arc to Vince or would, did Vince start as like a Vince up here and you, you sort of caught up to that? <clears throat> you haven't seen the show? No. <clears throat> Are you out of here? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I envy you. Because now you get to watch the show. Oh, it, he pulls out a, like a... Here, here, here you go. go. Like, <laughs> let's take world. a break. Let's yeah. just binge. 100 episodes. <laughs> um, it's actually a really fun show. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's, it just melts in your mouth. It's, um, they're short episodes and they go by really fast. So you can just watch dozens of them at a time it was a good era of tv like when tv was mm-hmm. really like i remember yeah. people that were really into yeah. it so it was like that was the goal and this is when Benji just started and people yeah. were binging dvds were a the, thing the, and it was like entourage was entourage was not dropped all as a bu- bundle yeah, of course mm-hmm. right it was every sunday mm-hmm. you, you'd have yeah. to get yeah. together with your friends and i knew people who would not watch it so that they could watch five of them yeah. in a row oh yeah you yeah. know they would hold out because they wanted to Binge have more than a time. half hour enjoyment mm-hmm. um but yeah so it's for those of you haven't who haven't seen the show and there is a generation <laughs> a new generation is coming up mm-hmm. on the show and i you know i feel a little responsible for all the people who want to be in hollywood <laughs> and who want to be famous There's some and want there. to be <laughs> an agent i i'm sorry i take responsibility <laughs> but it's basically it's about uh a guy who's a famous actor and he he's, he keeps it real because he brings all his friends and he mm-hmm. shares the lifestyle with his best friends. Mm-hmm. And his whole philosophy is this could all go away and we can, it's okay because we, we have each other and mm-hmm. we can always move back to Queens and, Fuck. you know, be, be homies. You so know? a lot of parallels, like New York guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, our, the whole cast was from New York. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's which I think added to the chemistry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were all East Coasters. I mean, not right. New York necessarily, but mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. New York and the tri-state area. Mm-hmm. Wow. Doesn't sound as sexy. The tri-state area. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, Adrian, did you have any real friends? Like, are there relationships that you continue like, hold on? Like in the group? No real friends. Um, in the in, the in entourage. The, yeah. Did we become friends? Yeah, did, are, are you still seeing them? Is... So I, I see those gentlemen like brothers, like mm-hmm. family. I don't see them, but I'm, I'm in, you know, like forever bonded it's... and connected to them. Um, and it's actually, it's funny, uh, Jerry Ferrara and I have been 
we've reconnected recently since the pandemic and I, I wasn't expecting it, but we've really bonded over the past um, year or so um, over just perspectives on life mm-hmm. post pandemic. Um, and I actually was thinking about uh, Kevin Connolly today. I was thinking about reaching out to them because they have a podcast and I haven't done the podcast and I don't know if they still want me, but there was a time when they wanted me to do their podcast and I just wasn't, I wasn't there Mm -hmm. mentally. I wasn't ready to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So I hope they, I hope they forgive me and I hope, uh, I I might be ready to do it now. That's cool. No, I mean, that must be like getting the band back together in a way. (laughs) Right? Yeah. Well, maybe they'll do a reboot. I don't know. (laughs) There's a lot of rumors about that. 